Hey everybody, <laughs> this is Designers Only. Um, I just wanted to come on and do this video. Um, and this is a video response to Miss J, the first lady. And she did a video response, or she, no, she did not do a video response, and you know that. She did a video on people, like these small companies trying to benefit off of other people or whatever. Um, I can't exactly remember what it was about, but I do remember some stuff. So this is going to be a video response to her. Um, I'm just going to jump right into it. <clears throat> this is my third video of the night. Um, yes, it is 10.36 at night. My phone doesn't even want to act for it, but there we go. It's 10.36 at night. This is my third video of the evening, so... Um, but this is a video response to her, and I just want to say, um, really quick, and also, Arkansas Big Girl, I think her name is, she made a video response to her too, so this would be a video response to both of them, pretty much. Um, I just feel like it's not right to try to benefit off of smaller companies. I get free shit and stuff for people because that's, it's not right. And then when people get mad because you won't send them free samples, first of all, and this is to um, big Arkansas Big Girl, and I remember she mentioned that too. And people get mad at you because they won't send you, or if you won't send them, I'm sorry, free products, and then first of all, you should already know they're not going to be somebody that will buy from you um, and be somebody that's like, oh my gosh, I just have to go back and get this stuff and blah, blah, blah. They should be willing to give, like they should be willing to buy something small, um, like a lip balm, and try it out and see how they like it. Um, I bought a lip balm from this lady off of Etsy and her name is Patrice. Um, I won't mention her shop name for copyright reasons, um, but I bought a lip balm from her, and it was a mango lip balm, and I really like it too, but the only reason, the only thing that I did not like about the lip balm was the fact that it was kind of, I don't know how to even explain it, it was like crackly almost, like you know how you open up a fresh tube of lip balm and the top of it has that little rim around it and it breaks on your lips as you put your lip balm on oh excuse me but you know what I'm talking about well hers was like that except it broke off in big chunks and I'm like okay so I'm trying to put this lip balm on and I have all these big ass chunks of lip balm on my lip and it was funny because I'm trying to rub this shit in and all of a sudden my lips look I look like I put on a whole can of lip gloss or whatever and I didn't buy it for that purpose. The only reason I bought it was because I like mangoes and I wanted to try something different as far as moisturizing my lips because here we are in October going into December in a few months and I wanted to get something try it out ahead of time to make sure that okay guess I can go back and buy some more of this to stock up for the winter but that's the only thing I didn't like about that was it cracked off in big pieces and plus it was too oily for me like it was a good moisturizer but it was too much and I just looked like um I just looked like I went to KFC and just I don't know, I put on, I, I was just eating a whole bu a bucket of chicken, and you know that grease off the chicken? Well, that was my lip balm. So that's how I looked a bit. Other than that, it was a good lip balm, and I would go back and buy it if it wasn't so, you know, like, if it didn't have all that oil in it, then I would go back and buy it. But my skin is naturally oily, so I can't do the oiliness of lip balms like that. So I think for now, I will stick to um, probably, I'll probably stick to just my Blistex for right now. The coal and the allergy one and the little orange too, but I thought I had it with me, but you know what? Ugh. I'm sorry. I think I actually have it. 
my bag, so. But that's what I'll probably stick to for the winter because I don't like, like I said, I, I just cannot do the oil in this. Um, this is it. It's Blistex Cold and Allergy Lip Smoother. And I don't know. Let's see. Can you see it? Oop. Well, it's coming up a little bit, but. try that. Oh lord, that doesn't even work. Yep, there we go. Call an allergy, hold smoother, or soother by Ballistax. That is a good lip balm, and it's not thick at all. It's the right consistency. Um, it smells like almost honey and oranges like but it's a good lip balm, and it's really for like cold sores and shit, but I just bought it because it was orange, and orange is my favorite color, and it smelled good in the way, so I was like, okay, and it was cheap, so um, I think that's going to be my go-to lip balm for the winter, but this is not a lip balm review, so let me get back on topic. I feel like it's so wrong, like, like I said to Arkansas on her one video, if you are able to, you know, give a few dollars to somebody that has a product that you really, like, you want to just try out their products, and they're not really a big company, like me, I have an Etsy store, but I haven't really sold a lot, I think I've only sold one item since I've sold, since I've opened, I'm sorry, my store. And I've had my store open since June. So, if you were able to give a little money, like a few dollars here and there to people that have small businesses, and you want to try out their products, do it. Because I feel like, because this is my thing, I believe in karma. And I feel like if you go and help someone out, um and you're able to give a few dollars, like donate a few dollars here and there just to somebody that you want to try their products, do it. Because, I, like I said, I believe in karma, and karma comes back in good ways, and it can come back in bad ways, and it can be a bitch too. So, um, like I said, just do that, because I don't feel that it is right to try, out, try to mooch off of small companies. Um... I just don't like that. I feel like that is wrong. That's disrespectful. And it's disrespectful to that person who owns that company because when you try to mooch off of them for free products and you don't give anything back in return, like a few dollars here and there to support them, I feel like that is robbery because you're out to steal from them and get free products and I know a lot of people are sneaky too so they'll even try to go and figure out what you used in your products like for me I'm a crocheter and I do loom knitting and I just finished two scarf gans um, and basically what a scarf gan is and I do not have one with me um, but if you are on my Facebook you have seen it um, but basically what a scarf can is, it's a 16 square, granny square, um, scarf that is so wide and so long, it could be a, this it could be an afghan almost, but it's not wide enough to be an afghan, but it's wide enough to be a scarf, and it's thick enough, it's long enough to be a scarf, and it's wide enough to be, like, you can wrap it and it'll come around your nose like right around that part of your face and it's really warm too just like an afghan so um, just keep in mind the scarf can has been copyrighted so do not try to take my idea but like my mom said um, I was even considering making one and just selling it on my Etsy because I have people when I posted that picture I have people private message me on Facebook offering me up to $158 for that scarf because first of all it took me two weeks to do 
and I was just starting out my first scarf my scarf that I made for myself I started that scarf out it took me two weeks and I don't know like it took me two weeks first of all because I'm in school so I don't have a lot of time to just sit down and start crocheting um, because most of the time that I have either goes to me sleeping because I'm a very tired person or it goes to me studying so I don't have a lot of time to sit down and say, oh my gosh, I'll just sit here and, you know, crochet for like five hours, knock out a few scarves. I don't have time for that. I have been crocheting people's gifts. I make scarves. Scarves and hats are my specialty. I have been making scarf and hat sets probably since a late June, and here we are in October, and I have only done about including my own scarf. I think I've only done about seven scarves and hat sets. Um, and I still yet have to make my mom and my hats. So, there you go. She, and the point I'm trying to make is I was even considering selling one of those, but she told me not to because people will, and you know, I'm eventually going to sell it because it's already been copyrighted, so it doesn't matter because if whoever tries to take my idea, I can take them to court and sue them. Um, so I will eventually do that, but her point was don't do it because there are some crocheters out there that are so good that they can look at your work and figure out what stitch you used and everything and how you even finished it off too. So, um, eventually I will probably sell one of those, um, but for now, I will not be doing that, and I probably won't start selling them until next year because I have so much going on. I have school, and I have at least four or five more scarves and hat sets to put out. So, um, and those are going to be Christmas gifts, and then I might have somebody buy one off of me, so I have to get their yarn and do theirs and give that for, to them for Christmas. And yes, I'm a busy person. So, um,. With that being said, to, if you are able to, like I said, just donate a few dollars here and there. Don't donate a whole bunch of money because you can get something that, like for me, I only paid five dollars for that lip balm, and I didn't even really like. I liked it, but I didn't like it because it, like, it crackled too much. It broke off in big chunks on my lips, so. If you can afford something like five dollars, just get one or two of their products and try it out for yourself and ask yourself, do I really like this product and would I go back and buy it? Um, as far as the lip balm, I probably would not buy it again anytime soon because like I said, I broke off in big chunks on my lips and here I am trying to rub this shit in on my lips and I'm sitting up here looking like somebody that ate a whole bucket of 20 wings from... KFC and all this grease on my lips so I feel like if you're able to do it because like I said I believe in karma and karma can come back in good ways and like I said it come back in bad ways and karma can be a bitch so um, this will be a video response to Miss J the First Lady in Arkansas Big Girl so um, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, drop them below or PM me or make a video response. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. So until next time, I will be talking to you guys later. Wait for the next video. If you have any video requests for me to talk about, please PM me or leave that below and I will try to get on that. So I will be talking to you guys later. Bye.